Hi, this is Ricky Castor, coming at you from a branch of deliverance, Evangelist in the Streets. On these clips, you'll be able to see my sister, Tasha Taylor, preaching the unadulterated truth of the gospel in the streets. So if you can, watch, listen, and enjoy as this evangelist is preaching in the streets. God bless. You need to know that when you leave this earth, however you leave, you need to know where you're going to spend eternity. A lot of people are fooled and they believe that I'm a good person. I go to church every Sunday. I give in the offering. I'm on the board at church. I'm a Sunday school teacher. I'm a minister. Some people believe if I'm a minister, I'm going to make it in. But if you're not saved and you're not living for Jesus Christ, you're not going to make it in. You have to repent. The Bible says that judgment is going to start first at the house of God. God going to make sure his house is clean first before he go out into all the world. So I encourage you on today, begin to examine yourself. The Bible tells us to examine ourselves to see whether we're in the faith. So if you're a smoker, if you're a drinker, if you're a drug addict, if you're fornicating, if you're committing adultery, if you're lying, if you're cheating. And some people say, I just told a little white lie, that one little white lie could take you to hell. So if you're doing any of those things that I mentioned or other things that you know that's not right, then it's, it's, either, it's very obvious either you're in a backslidden state or you're in sin, you're practicing sin. But today or tonight, you can give your life to Christ. You can change your life right now just driving by. Because God is everywhere. If you're in your car right now or you're pumping your gas or you're getting some food at Checkers or American Deli or you're sitting at the light, you can ask God to come into your life right now. You can say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. God, and I need you to save me and wash me and cleanse me. Come into my life. Cleanse my life. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. He was beat unmercifully for me. And then he died and he rose on the third day that I might be saved. And just when you do that, you're saved. It's just that easy. It's just that easy to give your life to Christ. You ain't gotta do a hundred vows. You don't have to sacrifice a child. You don't have to give up all your worldly possessions. If you just give Christ your life, that's all he wants. If you give Christ your life. Y'all shout out Jesus one more time for me. One, two, three. Jesus. They, oh, well, y'all, hey, y'all some winners. There's the Lord. That's what's up. So, you can be saying, I go to church every Sunday. I go to Bible study every Tuesday or Wednesday night. That don't make you saved. No more than you standing in a, no more than you standing in a garage makes you a car. So, you need to be saved. The Bible tells us this, that judgment is going to start at the house of God. So that means God going to clean his house first before he even go out into the world. So if you're not living according to the word of God from Genesis to Revelations, you might need to examine yourself and see whether you're in the faith. Because you need to be saved and you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost in order to make it into heaven. Because drug addicts are not going to be in heaven. Curses are not going to be in heaven. Witches ain't going to be in heaven. Warlocks ain't going to be in heaven. Psychics ain't going to be in heaven. No. You got to be right. You got to be saved. I even encourage you that claim salvation. You in a backslidden state and you're still in the church. You need to get it right. You don't know when God is going to come for you. You don't know when the spirit of death is going to visit your door. You got to make sure on tonight. If you're in sin, if you're in homosexuality, uh-uh, you ain't going to make it in either. Because God is true. The Bible tells us that let every that God be true and let every man be alive. 
The word of God, though, is cut and dry. It's black and white. There's no in-betweens. Some people are living that lifestyle and they go into church, but God ain't pleased with that. God is not pleased. He wants to save you. He wants to deliver you. Some people figure, well, I was born this way. No, that's the spirit. God made male and female for, for production, to reproduce. Because even when you put two females together, in order for them to have a child, they got to bring a man into it. God designed it that way. Same thing with men. You got to bring a woman into it. So God is not about mess. That's too much confusion. And the Bible tells us that God is not the author of confusion. And the Bible also tells us where there's confusion, there's every evil work. The Bible even tells us and lets us know that God destroyed two cities because of homosexuality and perversion and lasciviousness. And the Bible even tells us that God's going to get those that even have pleasure in those that do those things and condone it. God doesn't hate the homosexual. He hates the sin. He loves them. And so I'm here to tell you, I don't care where you're at right now on tonight as you drive by and pump your gas. God loves you. He loves you. Jesus loves you so much. He says somebody out here like me to take time out to let you know that. He Hi, I hope you enjoyed the ministering that was preached out in the streets. If you are interested in branch of deliverance. Or if you're looking for a ministry, come join us at Deliverance Unlimited International. You can catch us on the Internet. You can give us a call and you can come see us. Hope to see you and God bless.